Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the new video today building shrimp crab epoxy eyes. It's super simple to make, it's something that I use a lot. If you see, if you watch my videos, most of my patterns has like epoxy eyes. And today I'm gonna show you how to make them. For me, it's something really nice because they last longer than the normal paint uh, shrimp eyes. For example, when you take a piece of monofilament, burn the tip and then dip it into the paint and let it dry for the next day you have a pair of uh, shrimp eyes but what happens with the first couple bites of the fish the paint will be gone and you won't have any more eyes on your shrimp and something I really like too is that I can I can recycle the eyes when when my fly is all like beat up I just take a knife and start peeling off the fly like the thread all the material off trying not to cut the monofilament because I use the whole shank of monofilament along the shank of the hook and wrap with thread so I build body with it so when I when I peel off try not to cut the sticks of the monofilament so I can place them in another fly so I have already a pair of shrimp or crab eyes so this is the way to do it so so here we're gonna jump into the materials that I'm using. 40 and 30 pound monofilament, oasis foam, a candle, pair of scissors, UV resin, lighter, UV light, black paint and paper tissue. Trim about two inches of, uh, of the material like that. So what I'm gonna take is 40 pound test, burn the tip with the lighter, you can use the candle if you like, open your epoxy thing, what I'm gonna do is like dip it in here, like I don't know if you get to see that, it's super small, and what I'm gonna do is use my UV light and cure, slightly cure, the, the material. I will suggest to let it cure for, for at least five minutes straight in the sunlight to make it super hard base and then you dip it into the paint. That's the best way to go. It's kind of solid. Dip it into the paint just like that. Take the excess of the material just like so and you have another just like that so what we're gonna do is gonna let them dry for at least an hour once the eye the paint is dry what we're gonna do is dip it into the resin but a little little coat of of resin you don't have to use that much you see how beautiful rounded eye it turns in so just like that, I'm curing the eye and once it's done, I'm gonna place it in like outside in the sunlight to let it dry completely in the outside and it will be perfect to go. You can just put them into the little bag, an old bag from your fly tying materials and you can stack in there like a bunch of ice. I would suggest to, to make at least 200 pairs of these things because they, they go like that. When you're tying and tying and tying, a lot of flies will be gone in a couple weeks. So make a bunch of them, just spend a day and trim pieces of monofilament while you're watching movie, like melting like tapping melting tapping and then do the process of epoxy and then painting so thank you very much for watching the video guys put a thumbs up share the video if you like and if you want to subscribe to the channel you're free to do it so i will see you in the next video enjoy fishing see you in the next one bye